Alright everyone, so welcome back to the round 9 uh, AFL Fantasy Review. I'm recording this at 10pm and I'm usually asleep right now, but I need to get this video straight uh, out on Monday because I'm going to the Puella game uh, like at 5 o'clock and I'm going to have to drive to Adelaide Oval. I'm pretty excited and I'll be trying to get a vlog out. I'll be showing my face, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully you don't get too disappointed, but yeah, I'm pretty excited. Uh, finally going to an AFL game. Very excited, honestly. I um, just can't wait. But uh, yeah, let's just get straight into review. So... Uh, my trades for round 8, I uh, did a bit of just rookie uh, ground downgrades and a bit of an upgrade. So we traded Buderick because Buderick was uh, uh, he's gonna he was losing cash, so I decided to trade him uh, to Sam Mays. And I got Mays in the midfield by doing DPP, DPP action by switching Bailey Smith into the forward line. And, and then we did just did on the bench McInerney to, um, McInerney to close. And then we did Rivers to Will Day, which I filled it. So, overall, pretty happy with the trades. As you can see, Sam May is just perfect on our uh, debut. But we'll talk about the review soon. I'm just happy with the trades. But we scored 16.40, a pretty average. Uh, we didn't move really up. We moved up by, like, 200 ranks. We were 19,900. So, average uh, rounds uh, overall. Pretty dis somewhat disappointed in my captain option. That would have pushed me around to the 18,000 mark if I got the right captain option and if I just went for the VC but we'll find out you'll find out soon enough so let's just go train to review so to the defense uh pretty bang average not great at all pretty much Doherty 63 as I said not too sure what's happening with him didn't think he got tagged in this game he's up against Hawks that's a pretty easy team for defenders to score on so he's definitely on the chopping block now but he, I wouldn't say uh uh you trade him if you got not if you got something else to do like you gotta get rookies off so uh, you gotta keep him there, but uh, yeah, everyone should have him. And if you got nothing to do, then he's your man to trade probably. So probably even have Lloyd or something like that. Lucky Weller, 43, very disappointing. Uh, it was just, it was just disappointing. And he's on the, he's, he's, he's on the chopping block. Like he's, he's a primo. I need to fix up straight away. But I'm focusing on rookies at the moment. It's just I need him to bounce back. He's just, I got him in after he scored two nines. He's just been scoring. He hasn't. I don't think he's scored a ton yet. So for, for me, so. It's a very disappointing, he's a disappointing pick and traded him from Brody Smith and Brody Smith has just been, he's, he's been solid. So yeah, it's just not a great trade at all. He needs to bounce back. Houston 66, everyone has him, should be fine. Ridley 67, I'll take that, not too bad. Will Day 48, I'll take that on W, uh, decent rookie score, that's around 60. And then McPherson 45, same thing, I'd say, so they're both making cash. On the bench, we've got Hamill 23 and Link 32. Luckily, I got my ro rookie roulette. Um, selections right and hopefully that these two their cash generations will stop a little bit but hopefully i still play and then i'll probably downgrade hamill this week but we'll see and to the midfield now the midfield showed up like i basically got every everyone everyone turned up except for two players it, they showed up definitely but uh yeah so trelaw i decided to captain over grundy at the last second and as you can see i had the vc on max gorn but uh, I had the emergency on close, so if I wanted to take the VC from Gorn, I would have to field Sarong and take close as 39. So I decided not to do that and risk, uh, hopefully, Sarong would outscore him. And as you can see, Sarong absolutely smashed that. But uh, yeah, Trelaw, unfortunately, he was on um, 92 with 5 minutes to go and then just dropped to 84, giving away free free kicks. It was unfortunate because the amount of times I saw him, what you call it, getting hold, getting uh, hanged on and getting tackled without the ball, it was just annoying. Like, I felt I felt sorry for him. Like, he, I, you could tell that he was just, he just had enough, really, and he gave away f uh, three free kicks and one right at the end. So, disappointing, uh, but uh, it's, it's actually not that too bad. It's a solid captain option, but yeah, uh, I'll, I'll take the 84 as a captain, not too bad. Jack's still 91, he's been beautiful, uh, he's just getting it done, like, he's just getting it done, like, it's so, it's so good to watch him. Yo, 79, unfortunately, was on 70 with free, uh, 70 with, uh, in the last quarter and then just got 9 points, but I'll take that, not too bad, uh, he's on, he's got the buy, so we'll be taking his average of 71, it's, on, like, it's okay, but he'll definitely be the one to trade once I get rookies done. Uh, Stephen Kinney, 90, definitely take that, he's, play, he's playing forward, but hopefully he gets back to, on the, yeah, he's gonna be playing more forward now that Green's out. So, yeah, hopefully he kicks goals, but he he's gonna be dropping a little bit of cash. I reckon hopefully just he can score a ton. That'll be great. Uh, the pig 107, beautiful. Uh, he's he should be back hopefully. But yeah, uh, I can't believe that a thousand coaches traded him out. You don't trade pigs out, man. Come on, don't trade pigs out unless they're injured. Sam Mays 92, as I said, beautiful in debut. Uh, he was just 
beautiful and his ownership's up two percent and he's gonna be making lots of cash he's ready uh rise up 50k so i'm excited to see him one day sam simpson 49 take that he's got two weeks probably left and then you probably offload them he's got he's at 400k already Sarong 92 oh just two nights in a row you can't ask for more than that really we're going up to 500k surely uh his uh, average is around 60 so he'll probably get around the 500k mark and then uh, once he gets a bad score, he'll be offloaded to probably Lucky Neil. But yeah, he's just been a beautiful rookie, and he's yeah, he's my plus three definitely. Once again, back to back plus threes to a rookie. You can't. That's 2020 really, and yeah. So bench close 39 as I said. Okay, hopefully he holds the spot and Trumpyanko. Uh, I had to switch him off to utility, and yeah, uh, I'm gonna be tr hopefully be trading Tyler Brown to the utility spot, but we'll see. Um. Uh, that's the midfield done. So overall, that's my best spot, and they carry the team. Rux, oh yeah, Rux did well. Gorn 97, Grundy 99. I should captain Grundy. I had the C on him all week, and then decided to switch to Law because I knew Law was just gonna bounce back and get fair disposals. But unfortunately, he only got like one or two tackles, so and three marks. Usually he's good on the marks, but unfortunately, didn't get enough marks for him to uh, boost his score. And he obviously gave away three free kicks. Uh, to the forward line, on oh, no, a rock uh, bench, we got Cameron. Hopefully, he stays. He's been making cash, but I'll be looking at Draper. I'll be looking to get him in. Uh, forward line, Petrarca, 85. I'll take that. He's number one forward uh, besides Lucky Whitfield. So, unfortunately, I don't have him. He's killing my season at the moment. Yeah, Lucky Whitfield and Jack Lloyd, that sh they're, they're both everyone that has them, and I don't have them, so they're killing my season. Simkin, 57. Uh, another shocking score against uh, the Witch's Hats of Adelaide Crows, but. Hopefully he bounces back. Uh, it's pretty disappointing. And if you traded him if it, when he was going to be, it was a chance to be laid out. Then uh, congrats to you. You've done well there. Greenwood 43 had zero tackles, which um, definitely decreases the score. He, he, he's not really a disposal uh, player. He's usually a tackler, so unfortunately, uh, pretty disappointing score overall. But uh, a lot of people traded him in, so he's not he's not damaging my team at the at a uh, lot as probably two weeks ago. But Hopefully he bounces back and if he probably gets another 40, he might be on the chopping block to lock you with field, honestly, because I need to get with field in ASAP. Brayshaw 78, I'll take that. His average is around 70, uh, high 70, so I'll be staying him in. Taylor 25 will be my trade plans. Uh, unfortunately, he got injured and I thought he broke his leg at uh, one stage, but yeah, still 25, not the greatest. Uh, Bailey's 56, uh, not the greatest at all, and hopefully he bounces back against Port Adelaide, but. Hopefully he gets 0% in the disposal efficiency and just passes to LA. That'll be great. And then, uh, rookies, Max King, 60. I was definitely looking to trade him in this week, but it's tough now because he's got he's going to have a low break even now. Uh, it was a pretty good game by him, but yeah. And then Caravar, unfortunately, uh, just the emergency now because the teams have been revealed from the Monday night game. But yeah, he played the first game and hasn't played since, so it's pretty disappointing. And then, as I said, utility belt, tiny, uh, utility spot. Ty Brown uh, not playing, so so uh, that's the review. Not too bad, decent overall. So the trade plans are looking. Uh, I wanted to trade Max King. I feel like he's gonna get another thirty. Uh, 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 he's gonna rise up in catch a little bit, but I feel like he needs to be traded because I need to get Draper in. So I'll be trading Max King and using DP, D, DPP with Cameron to get Draper in if he plays. Obviously, these are these could change, and then I'll be trading. Um, it could be Will Hamill because his cash generation probably stopped. Or if any rookies get dropped, I'll probably downgrade them to a 170k. And I'll try and get Curtis Taylor to a full. I won't be getting lucky with who's at 800k. He's just too far. I'll probably be getting Dustin Miner. He's 200 in a row. You can't ask for more than that. And he's pretty sure he's up against a pretty easy opponent. Let's see. I'll just check right now. Oh, has he got the... Oh, no, he hasn't got the buy. He's up against Brisbane, actually. Never mind. He's got a hard matchup, but we'll see what happens. Uh... Maybe get um what's his name Connor Bla Bla uh, Bla Blakely in because he's got an average of seventy at the moment. He scored seventy or seventy four, and I could get uh Will Day to him maybe. But that's that's just what my trades are looking like. I'll be trying to get a rookie to the premium this week, but yeah, uh hopefully uh Well can bounce back because he's killing my season at the moment. But yeah, that's the video. Uh, leave down below what how you did and uh yeah, stay tuned for the vlog and stay tuned for the team coach video. I'll be uh posting soon. And yeah, this video likes, comment. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.